Welcome back to Surviving Mars! And that's right, I've built a shuttle drone, drone sh shuttle hub, <laughs> that's the name. <laughs> and now as you can see we have several uh, drones or shuttles in this case, moving around and moving resources around, which will help us a lot with moving resources through the, the colony. As you can see, machine parts is actually something that we seem to be resolved right now so no issues there uh, the organic problem is to actually have electronics and i'm trying to resolve this by basically bringing resources in here and then building this dome so the idea of this dome is that we get metals from here and then we send them to this electronics factory, which will then, uh, we have an idle extractor there, which should then produce electronics in this area. So added some apartments in there, it's all being built. We actually need concrete at the moment, which seems to be interesting. <laughs> For this metal extractor, well, we don't have any more metals in here which is pretty bad. So I'll close that out. So we free some workers and I need to find actually other place for metal. This one, we still have some metal uh, storage deposits, 1,500. So that's pretty good still, but we might need some other deposits. I've also started building a concrete structure in here and a few other shuttle hubs although looking at this at the range of them like moving around this might be a little bit too much this one might be enough for this area i might just cancel this one and oh, oh, that one is built sector scan keep one over there one in the middle and one at the bottom seems like a good idea Although these are pretty close still, but you know what, that's that's fine. I think we'll be all right there. Um, in terms of scanning, we just have those we two sectors complete. finished to, to scan. We just finished another research and we have two empty slots in here. And to be honest, I think I will just, oh, actually, biorobotics workshop i may do like some meteor defects although this needs some uh, some electronics which we might be really low maybe we keep doing like engineering we still you know what i'll do the gene adaptation which will give us new crops and then i'll do the open farms later on and then we can almost clear this row so just start doing things that are pretty low in resource points that we need and that might be more than enough for us so we have power stored that's pretty good we are building stuff in here we are building our first apartment complex i'll also say that we can reopen this metal extractor Although we still need some machine parts in here. And for that, what I might do, go in here, not with Universal Depot, I want a depot for machine parts. And we have something a little bit closer to this area. If they can bring something in there. I think they are already doing it. There we go. Oh, lovely. This is working so well. <laughs> Should have built this a long time ago. That's so, so good. But yeah, now my only issue is how do we build this? Maybe we build some depots in there. Uh, what do I need? I need metal and machine parts. So if I go to depot and we go 
I don't know, I'll put it here. I'll pause the game as well. Metal, and then machine parts. And the reason why I want to pause the game is because I'll just put five in there. We don't need more than that, I believe. Yeah, that's more than enough. Let's let it go and see how we, we go about that. These, we are still unloading the, the food in there. What I actually noticed is that we might need a few depot. What's best place to add this than just next to the shuttle? Like, <laughs> if, if it explodes, we have to make it explode really, really nice. I think that's the, the goal there. So there we go. They are bringing the resource in there, which means ah, they are already doing it. Fantastic. The resources are low. All right. Love it. Oh, things are getting exciting now. Really, really enjoying this. What we can also try doing, uh, we have plenty of rare metals. So we can do the increase the workload, but this time uh, 18. So I would do only for electronics. There we go. And as soon as we bring more people, I'll start enabling, potentially enabling another shift in here. So that's the, the idea there. And this one, we need power. Oh, how did I miss that? So we could actually build, do we have enough polymers? We actually do. I might build this one and that will hopefully connect all that. Because then we can store some more power as well. And we have an event. Uranium Rich Hematite. It's not every day that we have the luxury to choose from what Mars has to offer. The planet constantly reminds us of its old habit. To give with one hand and take with the other. The rover came across Kofnite rocks rich in uranium, clustered on top of a rich hematite deposit. The mineral veins were positioned in such a manner inside the rock that we couldn't blast through without compromising some of them. We faced a difficult decision, but at the end, it was a matter of simple pragmatics. So we can exploit the hematite or the uranium. That means we get metals or rare metals oh that's a good question i think for this moment i'll do metal i don't even know where that will will be but oh, look at that we have plenty of metal extraction in here that we can use and that's probably where we go next if we have like concrete in the air what is this just rocks we have more rare metal over there as well so yeah might be the way to go so do we have any deposits for polymers in here it seems that we do not Sector scan. so maybe that's what we do so we help move things around so polymers and i will add this over here so this will help this area. How is this going? We still need machines for that. All right. Well, we don't even have machines in here. I think we're using everything. Yeah, we've, we've used a lot in here. So I would hope that this would be the next. But there we go. This will give us power and connect this one. We already have two people working in there. And can this? Please finalize and do all that Not food. Analyzed. That's been like quite a long, long time. But I'm thinking about sending this shuttle back so we can bring even more people. We have, in theory, 14 jobs available, but we can open 164 positions. And as soon as we get this electronics factory going, then that'll be really good. To get that going, what I believe I would do is basically not 
nothing because I don't have the money to do that. All right. I should have sent some um, rare metals back to Earth. I might actually do that if that's the case. So let's bring some in there. I don't know how much money we get for them, not completely sure. But then the idea is that we can bring more electronics back and hopefully get this built. So that's the the idea there, because all our electronics at the moment seems to be used for maintenance, although we are doing well at the moment. And bringing more people would mean that I can potentially open the second shift in here, which I could actually do straight away. Oh, they're splitting the work there. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I'll, I'll keep it. So as we bring more people uh, into the colony, they will go straight there and work. The more, there we go, we are increasing the production there. Yeah, the more we get there, the best for us. And I think that's the, the main goal. And I love to see all these shuttles moving around. That's so nice. We still need two machine parts in here. We do have the machine depot. What I'll do, I'll ask to have at least 20 in there. Why are they bringing all of that? Because I can see that we are bringing machines there, right? Yeah, we have three machines there. And they are bringing and taking that machinery, carrying nothing. Uh, there we go. Yeah, they're bringing it now. Go. Cool. And hopefully, they'll bring then more machines into here. So, the door to summer. The bunch live forever. Apparently, the clients of Eternal Summer, a large Peronic company, intend to do so. Fearing that Earth could be destroyed by a cataclysm, the 10 richest customers of Eternal Summer have paid for a rocket to host their cryopods. It has launched toward Mars, where they are relying on your colony to resupply the cosmic arc. Eternal Summer even hints that truly realizing their clients' dreams could be very beneficial to us. So the fact is the Eternal Summer rocket will regularly ask for permission to land if you resupply it with few machine parts and electronics. You initially received a 500 million upon launch. Ooh. Space is a harsh place and we wouldn't leave anyone alone. It doesn't sound appealing, sorry. Cost an extra. Oh, I wish I could have Oligarch key now. And we won't ask for compensation, we do it for free. No way. We will do it for money. Definitely do it for money. Especially because electronics is not something that's coming easy for us. So, yeah. We, we have that. And um, what I can do here is basically load some machines, bring you in here and unload those machines there because we do need to finish this and hopefully, although they are bringing machines over here, <laughs> too late, but now they can actually build this. Great. And what I'll do, zero there. And I believe zero here. I just want to see what we need for. Oh, actually, Milestone we need we need this there. We don't need this one, and we need power for this. So let's fix that. Bringing power, we need some cables, and oh, I believe we could do something like this. And something like that should be more than enough. And then I'll definitely add not a universal depot, a concrete. Where is the concrete depot? There we go. I would do it probably a little bit closer, to be honest. I'll do two over there and a dumping sites and the dumping sites will probably be on this side 
Now with this, we should start producing. I can even do amplify. We'll need to bring, oh, hold up. Salvage, and then I'll, I may do polymer in there. What do we need for this? Metal, we need more metal. Oh no. Um, Depot, polymer, I'll add it there. Make it five. Get, let's get some metal. Where do we have metals? Oh, that'll be a problem. I think I'll need to do the the metal one again. Let's do it. Bring five and we will get this going. And someone will, will build that. Oh no, renegades. Stop stealing our food. It's like, it's food. It's basically everywhere. We have no problems with food. So why, why are we being so annoying? Let's land that. We have... Oh, that's actually the Eternal Summer. I thought it was some passengers. Let's get some passengers here. Launch. There we go. They have a yellow shuttle. Interesting. The problem would be the... the electronics. But you know what? We... We can hopefully do that. We can potentially reduce workload. Ooh, cut for half. But yeah, I think that'll be a good idea if we do that. And oh, that's like it's I think the colony is finally thriving now. It's <laughs> it's finally working. It's which is see this uh, actually moving. Um there we go. We do we have a rare metal deposit in here? We don't. So deposit. We'll go for what is that? Rare metal deposit. And I want to add this in here. Just like all together. So they can take it from there and move it over there. And yeah, we have plenty of available resources there. That's good. Water is good. Uh, vegetation is good. Although we need more seeds. I think we do have a research to look at that we can do forestation. Ah, which is the next one, by the way. So unlock planting of bushes and trees, um, which can be harvested for seeds. And then we can use that. So that's really, really good. Now I'm thinking about doing another of these um patent research so we get some money just and i think i'll move that up in the queue so we can actually get some money so that's the idea over here in terms of power we seem to be doing all right although we could definitely add more solar panels which would be quite nice, but we also need more metal. This would be the place to build metal, I think. What I could do is starting, start to work on these things, right? So with point production, we need metal structure. We have two in here, 5.7 thousand and 5 thousand. So I'm thinking that we can do basically two together what do we need for this we need workers so that'll be kind of a problem which means that we might need a dome nearby uh, but i'll just leave it in there for the moment won't build it right now won't bring resource we'll just be there so we know what to do now the mega storage is done there we go so large water tank, which is quite nice as well. Although water, we seem to be doing really well. But how does that look? And water, oxygen tank, large water tank. 
This is the normal. This is the large one. This is huge. We need a lot of concrete and metal for that. But this is quite good as well. Although it doesn't tell me how much water we will store. So this is quite annoying. But we don't need that right now. It's all right. We will get there in time. So this one. What I'm thinking is that we might be able to change a few things in here. What I want to do there, just like want to polish this a little bit. So, well, we just need these really. And from here, I might just do. That'd be interesting. I want to keep this on one grid. I, I want to remove this one and we still need to keep things connected and at the moment that when we cut that out they won't be connected anymore. So I might do this. And you know what? I'll do that as well. Then they'll build these, these will be all still be connected and I can remove this metal extractor and get some um machine concrete and polymers back when that's built and there we go should be okay to do that now and what are we needing in here as always we need some more electronics that's fine we'll get there we'll get there we actually got some more people in here so I'm thinking about landing these back here and getting these people living around that area. Although this still needs Resources are low. more electronics. We need more money, that's what we need. Look at this there. I just remember that we have uh, exports on, on this one. So let's send that back. This will give us some money. Then we can bring the electronics that we need to finish building this. And I think New colonists we will be alright. What Anomaly is analyzed. storage full? Hmm. We might need some drones in there. What I might need do in here is basically bring this there. So we get some drones with us around here. And then they can remove the concrete into this. There we go. Let's see if that's what they do. Yes, that's exactly what they will do. And we might build... Oh, sorry. Keep going there. Don't need to go... Yeah, this is more than enough. Resources we might build a drone hub in there. Although if we build a drone hub, I don't think... Oh, where is... It's not storage... Life support, maybe? No, infrastructure. Um, drone hub. Yeah, we need more electronics, so that might not be the best of the ideas. The shuttles are already coming in here and moving the concrete. That's fantastic. Yeah, they are moving things around. That's good. This will reduce the number of drones that we have in this area, but I think that'll be beneficial for us if we keep it that way. And our shuttle is on the way, so... Oh, we got... 500 million there great let's go back in here supply pods and bring those electronics so brought the maximum we can now the question is do i bring what do i bring to complete this could bring some more drones or some seeds we don't have any seeds but we don't really need that we are good in polymers as well. I could just bring... I can bring concrete. Okay, what can I bring? I can bring food, but I don't want food. We have more than enough. I'll bring one drone. Then that's, that's good. Launch. That's fine. So then we can actually finish this. We are close. We have 6 out of 15. We still need 11 in there to get that funding, but get there eventually. In terms of, oh, we've finalized doing the 
scanning off every single area in there. That's so good. Okay, I'm happy about that. Um, do we have any other research to do? We do. So, we could do another funding, to be honest. Like, that money would be something that we definitely can use in our favor. Um, tourists, no, not doing tourists yet. We can convert waste rock in concrete, which is quite fantastic, and I will do that. Especially that we are running low in concrete now, although we are getting more over here, but I think that'll be for the best if we prepare for the future in that sense. But yeah, I think we're doing quite well. I think I just want to well, get this shuttle back so we can see if we can get another passenger rock. Rocket? Not rock. I don't, I don't want a rock. <laughs> and... Hmm. We... Let's take a look at filters. Specialization, do we have anything? Yeah, just tourists. It's a big no. Flows, age group. Could get like middle age or seniors. We have 70 of those in here, but no, we still have like a lot of adults. I think the issue is just the flows. Um, chronic condition loses health each day. Coward? Mm. What? Double scent loss from disasters. Alright, I think I could do that. Gambler has a 50% chance to lose 20 sanity when visiting a casino. And Gluton eats double rations, can be caused by sanity breakdowns plus dining. I think you get cowards, like that's that's fine. I don't really mind. And then we are ready. So as I was saying, I just want to bring this um, supply pod so we can actually get this done. And then we get more people living in here. We have a few already, which is fantastic. We are producing quite a lot of uh, rare metals, which is good. Still in need of more electronics, but I do believe that as soon as we do this one, we'll be quite good with that. There we go. And to be honest, I will drop it right here so we can actually move this quite fast into that uh, factory. I'll salvage the shuttle and let's see if we get that built. Resources are low. Yeah, we got some in there. There we go. Constructing. They are sending things everywhere. And that's fine. Good. They'll move this around. This is... Oh, we have a full shift there. Fantastic. Love it. Maybe we open a new shift. I'm actually keen to do that. So, yeah. If we look at this, we should see electronics production 7, consumption 1, and maintenance 2.7. So we should start seeing this going up, which is quite nice, actually. And I'm quite happy about that. And this shuttle is coming. So I might be able to send this back. There we go. And start moving things around. This one still needs three, but we are almost there. Oh, look at money. We got more money. That's quite nice. I'm thinking that we might even bring a new shadow with electronics just to keep things moving. Although we don't need that. And here we just need metal. So I will move this to zero. Machine parts. Oh, actually, machine parts, not metal. Metal. Yeah, we can remove that as well. So, starting to kind of micromanage a few things. But we now have plenty of shuttles around. 
which is also speeding things up. Oh, and the shuttle has gone. It was... I feel like... I don't know what... I'll drop them in here and they'll find... How, they'll find housing all around. They can move around to find whatever they want. And as I mentioned, I think I'll just do another supply pod for machine parts or electronics, I should say. Yeah, just like, just need to make sure that I'm, I'm sending the right thing there. But that's fantastic. Yeah, pretty good. New I'm happy about arrived. that. More colonists arriving, we still have enough housing for all of them, and we still, we might need more working space, which is quite good actually. I might start another working shift in here. So, still have like 15 jobs available and 16, 17 people, but if we can see where they are, I believe you are unemployed. We don't have much in this area, do we? So... Yeah, this machine parts is all good. Um, yeah, we are not doing the workload again. So what do they need in here? They need comfort. So they need shopping and drinking and luxury. And for here, they need drinking. So I might do like a drinking build building in the air, which is probably the space bar. I think that's the only one with drinking for the moment. Uh, luxury, gambling, social, food, shopping. Yeah, I think that's That's probably what we will have in there. And then this will help everyone in this area. We also need some electronics in there, which we should be all right. We should be doing that anyway. And we brought more, so I'll actually drop it in here so they can quickly bring electronics in there and fix that. So, all right, that's going a little bit better. Do we have more jobs available in here? I don't think we have many jobs available, to be honest, other than inside these buildings. So, I think they said that one of the buildings here was full, right? Uh, shopping, drinking, medical checks. So maybe we need a medical in here, infirmary. Let's do that in there. And probably grocer shop. I think that would probably help them. And I may do some decorations because we have some space in there. We hopefully don't need like quite a lot. I do a statue and a small fountain. We should be all right. Just helping people in this area to live a little bit better and this will hopefully give them more places to work around here i don't want to put the night shift because night shifts would make people lose sanity and we don't want to do that just want to make sure that the other place we have hydroponic farm that's making food for us we are consuming a lot more than producing, so maybe... Oh, we actually... Hmm, we might need more seeds in here, that's what it, we need. Oh, that's a seed crop. All right. So maybe we need to start producing more food as well in here, which is interesting. Um, hydroponic farm, so... We also have this farm. And we have the fungal farm. Base production 8. Doesn't tell me how much on the other ones. 
consumes water and oxygen and this I haven't done any of those yet I don't I think fungal farm we did but not these I'll do this in here I, I want to see how that looks like and yeah I think for the moment this will help with that looking in this area I just want to make sure that we have all the shifts covered and people working on that especially like places like this oh that's full it's fantastic to see that's full as well or well, almost full we have a couple of jobs available in the air a couple in there we could actually bring more housing in here but we have plenty of housing in there and we still need shopping in this area don't we have a grocer shop in here doesn't seem like it so let's do that and we will finish for the day so all right we'll get you a grocer shop over there Cool, and that should make people happy. We oh, we have 38 electronics now. Great. Uh, we just I don't remember when how many we got from the the shuttle, but I think this will this is well balanced now. I think we don't have to worry about anymore like about um, electronics anymore. I think we are really really good about this. In terms of research, we are doing all the research that we can over there. We finished all the uh, scanning of this area. And I think we can start focusing back on the um, terraforming because like this is, was always my, my goal here to get more seeds, see this planet turning green and getting people actually living outside without the need of domes. So that is my ultimate goal. But for now, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Surviving Mars. Uh, leave a like if you did. Let me know in the comments if you have any other suggestions. You've been helping so far and we just survived this far because of your comments as well. So thanks a lot for that. And if you want to have more of a conversation, you can join our Discord server. Links in the description. And um, I think that's all for today. So thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.